Hey y'all, I'm Olivia Morgan and this is my sidekick Remy and we are going to give you a few tips to keep your Norwex business strong and consistent through the summertime. So my number one tip is start a buying club. If you don't know anything about buying club, go to the search bar on this page and search buying club and you will find my training that I did on buying club. Um, in a nutshell, your customers place orders on a party that you create, then you close that party, have the hostess rewards shipped to you, and then you divide the hostess rewards up and send them to your customers as a reward for placing their orders. And you do it on a seasonal basis. So right now I am doing my spring buying club. It was March, April, and May. So my customers had to place a minimum $35 order in each of those months and then they will get, I will draw the hostess rewards and they get them, okay? Um, and so the buying club was huge for my summer sales last year. So I highly recommend that um, to do all year round, but especially during the summer. So look at my training on that. Um, the second thing is the Christmas in July sale. Um, that accounted for definitely more than 50% of my sales in the month of July last year. Um, the Christmas in July sale. So be sure to look for that. Um, and if you, and if for some reason our group does not do one, um, you can always make up some sales on your own and put them out there in your VIP group or through Project Broadcast and have your own little Christmas in July sale. Um, and the last thing is um, kind of twofold. So for booking parties, Sometimes, honestly, I have trouble getting people to commit to do parties, especially Facebook parties in the summertime. And so you might just have to offer a bigger incentive. Um, a body cloth may not be enough. A dish cloth, a counter cloth may just not be enough to get people to book a party. You may have to offer them a basic package. You may have to offer them a counter cloth house. Um, now, you can put stipulations on that. You can say, you know, you're going to earn this thing when your party hits 250 or 350 whatever you feel comfortable doing, but you might have to offer more incentives. Okay. Um, and also, um, along with the, uh, Christmas in July sale that I was talking about, whenever I do one of those sales, the Christmas in July spring hacks or the 12 days of Christmas, when I send out the, uh, total to each customer, I offer them, um, something, some sort of incentive to book a party with me off of that sale. And sometime it might be host, sometimes it might be hostess credit. I might say, I'm going to give you an extra $25 or $30 in hostess credit when you close your party. Um, one year I said, I'll give you a free laundry product of your choice. I might, or I might just say, I'm going to give you a free bag of UPP or whatever. Um, and for the Christmas in July sale, if my August and September are not full, then that's what I'm going to say. They have to be willing to book an August or September party with me in order to earn that. And they're going to earn that at their party when they hold their party. Um, and again, you can put a stipulation on that. Um, your party has to hit 250 or 350 with a booking or whatever you feel comfortable doing. Okay, so those are my tips. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm happy to help. And be sure, again, to search for my buying club training on this page if you're unfamiliar with it and want to give it a try.